Yeah, so anyways this I hear this talk about third way third wave, uh I don't know where they come up with these things. Um have you ever been to a, a beach and you see the waves like they're coming in like non stop, like third wave in three in, in a whole year, like this must be pretty slow waves or something. Or they're just waving like, Hey, this is a third wave, it's like waving at you, be like uh yeah, hey everybody, third wave, ha ha ha, we're gonna lock y'all down, we're gonna tell you what to do and um I think anybody that is is doing what the government says uh around the world, um um it's unlawful what they're doing. Anybody that joins in with doing what they're doing is actually unlawful even though people think, Oh, if you listen to the government you're just you're just being you're being obedient, you're being lawful, you're showing your righteousness by doing what the government says, you don't want to, you don't want to appear to other people that uh, you're uh, you're a bad person. So you just do what the government says to show that you're such a great person, even though the government, what the government doing is unlawful. Uh, when you join in with those people, you yourself is actually being unlawful and unawares of being that by joining in with lawlessness. You yourself are being lawless. And anyone that stands up against it and says no to the government is actually the is actually the ones that are being lawful, and uh, but people don't see it that way. They think, oh, those people, they're so bad, super spreaders. And I've been around like thousands of people in the last year, and uh, I'm I'm still alive. I'm still healthy, and uh, what I hear is that only people over the age of 70 are really the ones affected so um, anyways most people well a lot of people know that it's just a bunch of nonsense and uh, and in the last days uh, in the Bible it says that uh, good will be people will say that good is bad and bad is good so basically that's what's happening and everything's being all flipped around and everything that's bad people are saying oh that's good and that's acceptable and that's what you should do you should go and you should have lots of sex with everyone and you should look at pornography and you should be you should be greedy you should accumulate a lot of money and you should have lots of possessions and if you do those things people are going to they're going to look up to you and they're going to think wow what a good what a great person look at they got a big house and ooh look at that fancy car that we've been trained to oh that car that's a nice car yeah oh that car is no that's just a, that's just a you know that car is not so nice but a fa this this car ooh it's a it's called a it's called a ferrari wow that's a Whoa, look at that, a Ferrari. Yeah, we've been trained that Ferraris are really special. It's a special car. Whoa, it's a Porsche. Ooh, ah, it's a Porsche. And people drive around, and they crash into one another, and they crash, and they die. Ooh, whoa, I want one of those. I want to get me an automobile, an automatic mobility machine, so I don't have to walk or do anything. I just sit in my car, and I drive to the store, and then I get out, and then I walk in and get my groceries and then I dr get back in my car and I drive home and then I eat and I stuff my face and then I just go and I, I watch the internet and I watch TV and I play video games and I get machines to do all the work so I don't have to do anything and then I just watch like I watch pornography and I have I go and get some prostitutes and I, and I sit around and have the government send me money and then we bankrupt the country and then we gotta be dependent on the government for everything and then nobody's and then we get robots to do stuff and then we make artificial Artificial people and we have sex with robots. Yeah, and then we make video games and we 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 lost over video images and then we and then we change genders and then we change species. We we don't we don't have to choose between being a man or a woman anymore. Like we got a choice. Now we can be animals too. Yeah, why not? Why not say I'm not a guy. I'm a cow. I'm a cow. See, 
I, I was born into the wrong thing, the wrong species. I'm a cow. I'm going to go get myself a cow tail and some udders. Yeah, and we can do that too. That will be really intelligent, won't it? We're really smart, huh? Yeah, that's what happens when we disobey God. Now we, now the world's going all crazy, and people don't even have common sense. They haven't had it for a long time. Common sense ain't so common. And you know what else ain't so common now is logic. First common sense went, now logic is gone. Huh. Wow. Anyways, I just want to make a video, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. God bless you. Jesus loves you. God is awesome and Jesus is the truth the way the life there's no other way to God except for Jesus and you can try to have all kinds of other ways and you can believe in all kinds of other things but only one thing is true and if you don't believe in the truth then if it's not true what you're believing then you believe in a lie and so there's a lot of lies out there and uh, you know, everyone has a choice to decide and to figure out what the truth is. And one thing about figuring out the truth is, is if you go around telling lies yourself, then you yourself is going to be deceived. If you deceive others, then you yourself is going to be deceived. So I don't know what you do in your life. And uh, if you're an honest person, you tell the truth. That will help you. If you are an honest person and tell the truth, no matter what, and sometimes when you have to be honest and you even maybe have to incriminate yourself by telling the truth and you because we are all have committed sin and if somebody asks you have you ever stolen you ever lied you ever done this or done that and you have to like say to be honest you would have to admit it and um, so um, but if you lie then anyways you'll be deceived if you deceive others and um, and if you don't if you don't stand up for the truth and stand up for what you think is right, then basically you're just going to be deceived. And um, there is one truth. And um, anyways, I hope you find the truth. Jesus is the truth. And everyone, uh, uh, the uh, plan of God is coming, coming to uh, be fruition. It's going to be... Uh, Jesus is coming back soon, and <clears throat> and the and the all everything's going to be done, and uh, this whole world is going to be come to an end. God's going to create a new heavens and a new earth, and all the people that um, continue in wickedness and doing evil and don't return, don't repent and turn away from evil, they're going to be cast away from God. They're going to go and be away from God because they didn't want God now. And God will say, "Okay, you're gonna get what you want. You didn't want. You didn't want to. Uh, you didn't want me. You want to live wickedly, and you don't want the things that I am, which God is: love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, faithfulness, holiness, purity, and and a lot more. Uh, good things, all good things. God's gonna be like, "Okay, you're gonna get what you wanted. Bye bye. And you're gonna go away from God and be away from all that is good. And you're gonna be." where everything is all bad. You're going to be where there's pain, sorrow, torment. You're going to be tormented in your mind. You're going to be, you're going to be, have so much pain and, and it's going to be like so painful. Just think of like, just think of maybe really, really painful thing you've experienced in your life. And then, and then multiply that by like billions and billions. Okay. And then, and then boom, that's what it's going to feel like. And then heaven is going to be like, it's going to be like, take like your happiest, all your happiest moments in life, and then add them all together, and then multiply that by like a billion, and that's what heaven's going to be like. It's going to be total peace, total joy, total happiness, total love, total unity. It's going to be like so good. It's going to be so great. It's going to be way better than drugs. Drugs is like, is like people think that Oh, I don't want to go to heaven because there's no drugs. You know, we're not going to be having. You're not going to be having all kinds of sex and drugs. Like, really? You think that you think that that's the best thing in life? No, heaven is like way better than all that stuff. And drugs really is terrible. And being um, sober is actually really, really good. It's like it's like when you're a child. Most children, when they're born, they're like they're just like naturally happy, and it's like 
you don't need drugs. Like, come on. Just like live a life full of purity and love and peace and you'll be happy. And it's way better than drugs. And so heaven is like super awesome. And uh, anybody who would choose sin and hell is like crazy. And they think, oh, well, people that people that are Christians, like, what fun is that? Like, it is fun. It is enjoyable. Like, you don't have to commit sin in order to enjoy life. There's a lot more about life. It's called living. And actually, like, committing sin is not living. It's dying. And if you go around and have sex, it's not love. It's like, if you're not married, it's not love. It's hate. You're actually hurting someone else by having sex with somebody that you're not married to and you're hurting yourself. You're actually hating that person by hurting them and hurting yourself. You're hating yourself and also God has given you life and what are you going to do with your life? Are you going to wreck your life and destroy your life and commit all kinds of evil with your life? Are you going to do that with the life God gave you? Is that what you're going to do with your life? And then you're going to take your life and cast your life into hell? God gave you life and you're going to cast it into hell because you want to choose doing evil and you don't want to turn away from evil? And that's what you're going to do with God-given life that God gave you? Is that what you're going to do with your life? I did lots of bad things. I did them and I am sorry. And all the people that I hurt, I am sorry that I hurt you. And I am very, very sorry. And I don't want to hurt anyone ever again. I hate evil. I hate doing wrong. And I hate it. And I don't want to do it. And I ask God to help me not to do it. And God is helping me. God forgives me. And praise God. Thank you for Jesus, the Lord, Jesus Christ, dying on the cross for my sins. I thank you, God. I thank you so much. I am a wretched man, but you, because of your righteousness, because of your goodness, you have restored me, and you've washed me, and cleansed me, and made me whole, and you, you give me your holiness, your purity, your righteousness, and, and praise you. I love you. I thank you. I look forward to being in heaven with you, to being with you, free from sin, no more sin. I'm not going to be in a place where there's evil anymore. And I'm not going to do evil. And all those people that are going to be there, we are not going to do evil. And we're going to live in peace and joy and happiness. It's going to be great. And all those people that choose to do evil, that is sad. It is really, really sad that you choose evil and lies. What you think is true, what a lot of you people think is true, is not true. You examine. You think it's true. It sounds true. And that's how the deceiver works. He takes the truth and he twists it all up. It makes it sound really true. It sounds, oh, this sounds really true. Because the truth is in there, but it's twisted. You know? Oh, this must be true because it sounds true. But no, it's twisted. And then, and, and because you want to believe a lie instead of the truth, because you want to continue on in your sin, you choose to believe the deception. You choose to believe what sounds true instead of what is true. And you don't really examine what you think is true. You don't take a really, really, really close look and say, huh, does this really make sense? Does the theory of evolution really make sense? Do we really come from nothing? Or are we going to make up some fancy, twisted, wacky, wacky idea and make it sound really true that, oh yeah, just every, you know, whatever it is. It's so twisted now that they have all these weird ideas what the truth is instead of believing in the truth. And the truth is the only thing that will set a person free. Jesus is the truth and the way and the life. And I hope that you will see that. I hope that your eyes will be open. I hope that you will repent and turn away from evil. Turn away from wickedness. Say no to Satan. Say no, Satan. I'm not doing that evil anymore. I'm not going to lust. 
I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to steal. I'm not going to covet. I'm not going to hurt people. I'm going to turn to God, and I'm going to give my life to God. I'm going to say, God, I want you to be Lord of my life, God. I want to serve and obey you, because what you say and what you um, advise to do is for our benefit. When we obey God and we listen to God, it's not a burden. It is actually for our benefit, for life, for our life, to live life in joy and peace and love and to help one another and to lift one another up. That's what God wants for us. And that's why He tries to help us. He gives us free will to choose, but He wants us to choose what is right. He wants us to choose to listen to Him because God knows everything and God knows what's right. God knows what is good and what is beneficial. And that's what He wants for us. He wants us to listen to Him. He wants us to choose to listen to Him and not to Satan. You know, are you going to listen to God, which is which is great, God is good, He's pure, He's holy, or are you going to choose to listen to the evil one that wanted to be God, that was jealous of God, hates God, He hates people, He, he wants to destroy you. The devil wants to destroy you because he's angry with God, because he wanted to be God. And and he wanted to he wanted to have all the power and he wants to destroy you. God loves you, and Satan doesn't like the fact that God loves you. Satan wants to destroy you to get to get back at God. That's his way of getting even with God. He thinks he's going to get even with God by destroying those that God loves. God loves you. And God wants to bring you back home. God wants you to go and be with him and go and be where there's no evil, no sin. That's what God wants. And I hope that you want that. I hope that you want to turn away from evil and, and receive forgiveness. I hope that's what you want, and I hope that's what you do, and I hope you seek out the truth, what the truth actually is, and um, you only have so much time, uh, your life is going to come to an end someday, Jesus is coming back soon, we don't know when, could be any second, any day, it could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be next week, it could be next month, next year, but he is coming back, and if you don't think so, well, then you can think that but the truth is the truth no matter what and you can't change the truth and you can't make up the truth you can try to think all kinds of things what is true but only there is only one truth and hope that you find it and I hope that uh, you have a great day and you enjoy this video God bless you and I hope that actually that you experience the presence of God that you witness God that you see God working in your life and around you um, I hope that you acknowledge God working in your life and you feel the presence of God. I hope that God reaches down and cleanses you and washes you and fills you with His Holy Spirit, with the Spirit of Truth, and makes you new, gives you spiritual birth, and He makes you a new person. He takes away your old man. He, you, you sacrifice your old life. You lay your down your old life. You sacrifice it. You put it on the cross. You nail your old life to the cross. And you die along with Jesus. You lay your life down and be resurrected into new life in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. Hallelujah. You can do this even if you don't believe in God. Just cry out to God and say, God, I don't really believe you. I don't know if you're true, but I want to know. I want to know, God, if you're real. I want to know, God. Please show me, God. I don't want to. I, I want to know what the truth is. Ask God, even if you don't know, even if you don't believe God. Just pray to God and ask Him, and God will reveal Himself to you if you seek Him. If you earnestly desire to know if God is real and you cry out to God and ask Him, God wants you to know Him. God wants you to have a relationship with Him. God wants to restore your life. He wants to take your broken life and your, 
your pain and your hurt and he wants to make you happy and full of joy and and he wants to give you abundant life he does god wants god created you for good things so yeah god loves you i love you i love everyone and i'm sorry to everyone that i've ever hurt and i hope that uh in the future that uh I will do the opposite of that and I will be of help and God will use me to help people and and mostly I hope that God uses me to reach those that are lost in their sins that are dead in their sins the walking dead the people that think they're alive but they're actually dead in their sins I hope that God will use me to speak to them to speak through me to them to share the great news about Jesus Christ and how we can be made whole again. We can have all our sins forgiven, and I hope that God will use me to bring people back to God. God bless you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Have a wonderful day.